Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. This is quite an advanced one, so I'm going to go through it real, real slow. So what you need to do is there's some animation involved in this kind of, you know, epic text reveal effect. So I'm going to go through it real slow so you guys can follow it, you know, really easy and you don't have to pause it or rewind it or anything like that. So we're going to start off with the first thing is we need a background. So we're going to go to the media generators tab and we're going to click on solid color. And for example, we're going to pick green. Now what we're going to do is we don't need to adjust anything right here so we can close this out. Then we're going to create a new video track. Then we're going to apply some text. So we're going to click on titles and text and we're going to drag on default one on top of it. And right here, we can type in what the text will be when it's appearing. So I just, you know, did it in three takes, epic text reveal, but you can just do this in one. I'm just going to type in my name for now because that is the easiest. I'm going to also make sure to make it a little bit smaller like that. Then we're going to close this out and this is our text. We're going to also create a new video track. Just right click right here and then insert video track. And then we're going to go back to solid color and we are going to pick white. This is basically the line that's going to make the text appear. So we're going to close this out and we're going to go to the event pan crop one of the white solid color. Okay, so now that we have the window open, what we're going to do is we're going to put it right here so it's a little bit easier to see. Then we're going to click on mask at the very bottom on the left and we're going to just go ahead and create a nice line for this. So I'm going to just put it like uh, that and we're gonna also make sure to do that with the rectangle or square mask creation tool now We've done that what we're gonna do is we're gonna position it So we're gonna scroll up a bit so we can zoom in and we're gonna place this guy right here I'm gonna make also uh, the line a little bit shorter on both sides So it looks a little bit more accurate like this. I'm gonna also make it a little bit thinner like that Okay, so this is the line that's gonna make the text appear So what we're gonna do then is if we're gonna first animate the line going down so I would say right here is your time code I would say to for example click right here so that is around two seconds long so as you can see if you click right here on the time code you will see the seconds I'm gonna click right here it is right now it is two seconds and a tenth so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first click on this icon until it says move in Y only and then we're going to drag this guy down under the text as you can see like that so if you play it back and you want to also make sure that sync cursor right here is checked so if if you play it back, this is what it looks like. As you can see, that is how we're going to animate our text. So what we're going to do then is we're going to close out this one. We're going to create a new video track and we're going to pick a different color, for example, blue. And we're going to put that one below the white line. So what we're going to do then is we're going to click on the Ivan Pan Crop icon. And then we're going to make sure that we will mask out all the text that we will have. So we're going to make sure to go ahead and click on mask at the bottom. Then we're going to just, you know, for example, drag this right here and we're going to make sure that we will align it 
with the white line, for example, like that. And we're gonna also do that on the other side so that it is just nice and aligned. So now that we have done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this out. We're gonna go back to the white solid color Ivan Pan crop. We are going to click on the keyframe right here with sync cursor checked, this one. We're gonna click on here. Then, as you can see, if we close this out, our marker is at the very same spot when the line is appeared. So we're gonna go back to the Ivan Pan crop of the blue, and then we're gonna slide it down. like this. And the only thing we have there's left to do is change this blue to the green. So we're going to go to the generated media icon and then we're going to click on the blue bar and we're going to click this pencil icon. We're going to click on the preview so it is the same like that. And if we play it back, this is how you make this amazing text reveal. As you can see, our text appears right there, and that's how to do it. And obviously, you can just, you know, fine tune it and, for example, change the font. So if you go to the Vegas titles and text, we're gonna click on generated media. If you're gonna, you know, highlight all our text, we can just change this to any font we like, as you can see, like that, and it works exactly the same. I'm gonna pick, let's see which one would fit for this video. For example, this font looks very tight, so if you play it back, as you can see, this is how you make text appear, or you know, in other words, how to create an epic text reveal effect. And if you want to duplicate this one with multiple text files, you can just go ahead and select everything, press G to group it, press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V, and then you can create this as many times as you want. And in order to actually, you know, remove the green and put that one on top of your video. What you want to do is you want to first select it and render it out. A few moments later. Okay, so as you can see, this is basically the rendered file. This is just the text appearing as you can see. So let's just go ahead and put some drone footage underneath it. Okay, here it is. So if you mute this track, as you can see, there is a C. So in order to remove the green, we're gonna go ahead and click on the video effects tab. We're gonna pick the chroma key, we pick the default, drag it on top of the green line or the green track, we're gonna click on this blue box. We're gonna go ahead and pick the pencil icon, click on the green so it is the same color. And as you can see, if you play it back, it is now transparent and that's how you apply it on any video. It is that simple. And this is how you create an epic text reveal effect in Vegas Pro. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I know there is no face cam because when I pressed record with my camera, the battery decided, nope, I'm not gonna record today. I don't have the time to charge because when you're watching this video, I have to leave the house for an appointment. So I don't have the time right now to charge the camera. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to color grade Laka Pro. But don't worry guys, the face cam will return. This is just one single video without the face cam because the battery decided to die upon me. So what we're gonna do is like you guys have seen in the intro, we're gonna add in some awesome color grading presets. I have to mention some of them are free. Some of the other ones are also paid, but don't worry guys, don't panic. They are really, really affordable and they're not gonna cost you hundreds of dollars. So what I also want to mention is I have a brand new banner on YouTube. I had the previous one for a year now, so this is the new one. Make sure to let me know down in the comments what do you think of it and also a brand new profile picture because that's the reason I haven't been uploading the past two days. I was shooting some Instagram pictures. So if you want to see these photos, make sure to follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description at Alex Halford if you want to see some next level pictures. So with that all the way, let's get started with today's video. So this is a clip of Just in the City. And what we're going to do, the first one is going to be free. I'll leave a download link in the description. You don't have to pay for anything, which is the LUT filter. So if I head over to the video effects tab, we're going to scroll down to the L until we see LUT, which is right here. So 
if you click on it, you want to pick the default and you want to drag it onto your clip. Now, as you can see, there's nothing happening because we don't have selected a preset. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the orange and teal. Now, if you pay attention to the clip, this is what is going to happen to the clip. It looks very, very cool, very cinematic. I have showed you guys this in previous ones. So this is not really the main filter of what we're going to do and what I'm going to show you guys to color grade like a pro. The other one is called Vigasaur. Now, I want to mention that this one is not free, but it's affordable. It is only 30 bucks. I will also leave a link in the description if you want to pick it up. So if you bought it and you want to use it, you just want to fill in the serial key and then how you want to do that and how you want to apply it onto your video, it is going to be very, very simple. The only thing you need to do is place your marker on the video. Then you want to go over to the view tab. You want to hit extensions and you want to pick film looks. Now this box is popping up and right here you have all kinds of volumes. So let's pick volume one. If you want to have a nice uh, black and white Im image, you can just double click on it. And as you can see, it just appears to black and white. So if you want to pick other ones, you can just press control Z to just undo it. And then you can just pick other ones. You can see a little preview every time once you uh, want to apply them. So if you double click on here, this is basically how you do it. This is just pre-made for you, but you can also color grade with the color corrector, which I'll be showing you in a second. So right here, you have all kinds of volumes. We have all volume two. We have these ones, as you can see, if I apply that onto the clip, looks very, very cinematic. And this is how you can actually Spice up your videos, color grade like a pro, very cool. You can just can browse through it. And this is my personal favorite, this one. It adds in like this little bit more green and blue. It is just really, really nice. You can just browse through all these filters. And believe it or not, I have given away one of these packs for free. If you want to win future presets, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned because we're gonna run new giveaways, you know, every now and then. So stay tuned for that. So this is basically how you use the LUT and the Vigasaur. So if you wanna close this, out you can also color grade just with a color corrector inside vegas so you head over to the video effects tab you want to go to the c where it is color corrector right here then you want to just drag the default one on top of the clip and right here now you can decide what do you want to add do you want a little bit more you know blue low tones you can just add it in like that but not too much obviously because otherwise it will look like a little bit oversaturated and like just forced like blue colors forced into the clip. You also can add in some mid-tones. Uh, you can go over to the pink one. But if you want to have a little bit more cold looking footage, you can just add in a little bit more blue. If you want to have some warm one, you can just add in a little bit more red to kind of orange. And obviously the high tones, you can just go ahead and you know, change it up that way. And it is really, really simple. But what you can also do is head over to the color corrector secondary, and you can just drag on the default just as usual. And then you can even change the hue and that's gonna completely change the image. You can also add in some saturation. And if you want to click on this one, you will have some awesome low tones that you can change up. You can also have the limit saturation. The options are endless guys. You can also create your own presets and you can also just, for example, like these dark and mids that you can also apply onto your videos. Very cool, multiple presets you can apply. So this is how you color grade like a pro guys. If you want to pick up the LUT filter, the Vigasaur or anything like that links are in the description thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the continued support so that's it for this week guys i will catch you guys on monday with brand new videos as usual i'll see you guys obviously next week